Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through the day 16 problem from the July Lead Coding Challenge, Power of X, N. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. We need to implement the power function which calculates x raised to the power of n. Examples show that input can be a whole number, a decimal number or a negative number. The note attached with the question says x will be in between minus 100 to 100 while n is a 32-bit integer ranging from minus 2 raised to 31 to 2 raised to 31 minus 1. We will discuss the below three approaches for solving this question. We will also see the complexity analysis and the code for all these approaches. So watch it till the end. Before looking at any of these approaches, let's see what the power function does. If x is 2 and n is 4, it means we need to find the value for 2 raised to 4, which can be broken as 2 raised to 1 multiplied by 2 raised to 3, and so on. We can see that while we multiply x by x, the power gets added. Now, let's see what happens with the negative number. 2 raised to minus 2 can be broken into 2 raised to minus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to minus 1, where 2 raised to minus 1 can be written as 1 by 2. Simplifying the equation, 2 raised to minus 2 can also be written as 1 by 2 raised to 2, which in general is 1 by x raised to the minus n. We will use this while we see a negative power to convert its power to positive. Let's start with the brute force method. We first convert a power to positive if it is negative by updating x to 1 by x. We will also initialize answer variable to 1 and start iteration from i equal to 0. In each iteration, we will update the answer to answer multiplied by x, which comes out to be 2 in the first iteration. So, we update the answer and increment i. We again calculate answer which becomes 4. As i is still less than n, we calculate the answer again and update it. Now, as i gets incremented, it becomes equal to 3 which does not satisfy our condition, so the loop breaks and we return the answer. The algorithm here is simple. We first check if n is less than 0. If yes, we update x to 1 by x and n to minus n. We then initialize an answer variable to 1 and we loop from i equal to 0 till i is less than n and keep multiplying the answer by x each time. At the end, we return the answer. The time complexity here is O of n as we are looping n times. The space complexity is O of 1 as no extra space is used. You can find the link to this code in the description below. The previous approach had a time complexity of O of n. For n equal to 2 raised to 31, this will take a lot of time. So, to reduce this, let's see another approach. We can see that we can break the problem into half and multiply it by the calculated half to achieve the complete result. So we can use it to reduce the time complexity logarithmically. Let's see how to do it. Taking the input x equal to 2 and n equal to 5. We first convert the power to positive if it is negative. For our case, this won't apply. Now, let's eliminate some of the obvious cases. If x equal to 1, we return 1, as 1 raised to any number is always 1. If n equal to 1, we return the number, as any number raised to 1 is the number itself. Now, we will recursively call the power function on n by 2 and store its result in a variable. At the start, x equal to 2 and n is equal to 5. From here, we will call the power function for n equal to 5 by 2, which is 2 and again for 2 by 2 which is 1. As we have reached the most granular level, we will move upward while calculating the result and substituting it. As we know if n equal to 1, we return the number. We will update the result with x that is 2. Now here we will calculate m which is result multiplied by result which gives us 4. We also check if n is odd or even. As it is even, we update result with m, that is 4. Moving upward, we again calculate m, which is 16. Now we check if n is odd or even. As it is odd, we update result with m multiplied by x, which becomes 32. At the end, we return the result. Here's the algorithm. If n is less than 0, we inverse the value of x and set n to positive. 
we write down some basic cases wherein if n equal to 0 we return 1 if n is 1 we return x and if x is 1 we return 1 now we initialize a double variable m and store the result of recursive call to power function with n equal to n by 2 in m we now update m by m into m if n is an odd number we update m to m multiplied by x at the end we return m the time complexity here becomes log n as at each call we reduce n by half the space complexity is also log of n to store the recursion stack you can also find the link to this code in the description below instead of a recursive function we can apply a loop and achieve the same iteratively let's see it with an example this time let's take n as minus 5 now as n is less than 0 we update x to 1 by x and n to minus n so x becomes 1 by 2 and n becomes 5 we will initialize result to 1 current result to x and start iterating with i equal to n that is 5 we first check if i mod 2 is 1 as it is we update result to result multiplied by current result that is 0.5 now we update the current result to current result and to current result that is 0.25 at the end of iteration i gets updated to i by 2 that is 2 as it is greater than 0 we perform the steps again we again check if i mod 2 is 1 as it is not we simply update the current result with current result into current result and update i to i by 2 as i is still greater than 0 we perform one more iteration this time i mod 2 is 1 so we update result with result multiplied by current result we also update the current result value with current result multiplied by current result and i with i by 2 this time i becomes less than 0 so the condition fails and loop breaks and we return the result the algorithm here is simple we first check if n is less than 0 if yes we inverse x and set n to positive we then initialize result variable to 1 and current result variable to x we loop from i equal to n to 0 while reducing n by half in each iteration if i is an odd number we update result with current result multiplied by result lastly we update current result with current result multiplied by current result at the end we return the result the time complexity here is also log of n as at each iteration we reduce n by half the space complexity becomes o of 1 as no recursion stack or extra memory is needed you can find the link to all the codes we have shown in the description below thanks for watching the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe to the channel let me know in the comments what you think about the video.